Hello everyone, welcome to the Lotus Goddess. Um, so I'm just going to start pulling out some charms and see what comes through today. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, it's not a private reading, and we'll begin. So let's see what messages come up. Hope all of you are doing well. So we have the moon charm over here. We have divine masculine over here. And we have a key over here. So divine masculine, what I can see here is that there's something um there's something that the divine masculine is slowly starting to uncover. Um there's something that is being withheld from the divine masculine in terms of um, his current living situation and I feel like um, he's going through some um, like it's kind of I, I see a dark energy okay there's this dark energy that is surrounding the divine masculine and what I'm feeling is that uh, he's trying to he's trying to push through this it's like a clouded fog okay I can see that he was very loyal to some something or someone and um, he was just trying to um, there could have been some kind of situation that happened recently between the divine masculine and I feel like there is a karmic energy here um, the divine masculine was trying very hard to keep um, keep it together I feel like something was pulling the divine masculine and the karmic energy apart so that something would be the um like the, it was divinely orchestrated right so the divine was trying to um reveal certain things to the divine masculine about his current situation um he because he was being very loyal to this person and what i feel is that he was trying very hard like i feel like he was receiving different information um he may have noticed some things he may have seen the red flags and he's starting to put the puzzle pieces together but what's happening is um he was trying to hold that that connection together okay um but it's not going to last because i see that there is a divine intervention uh, divine intervention is going to kind of like blow this this situation out of the water okay um i can see that there is um some sort of ending here I, it is it has not happened yet but there is some sort of ending regarding um a past or current love Okay, and this is a um, this is a low vibrational energy type uh, connection. Okay, there's going to be an end to that. 
Um, I can see that the Divine Masculine, regarding this situation, he has turned his back on his own family. Uh, some cases it could be he turned his back on his parents. If he was married, his wife, um, that sort of thing. But here I can also see that there is a lot of strength that needs to be, um, there needs to be a lot of strength on both the divine feminine side and divine masculine regarding this situation. I can see that there, there will be a wish fulfillment. Uh, this wish fulfillment um, has not come through yet. But it will, um, it will take place once the entire situation is revealed to the Divine Masculine. Right now, the Divine Masculine, he's kind of in the um, younger stages of his transformation. Like he is not fully transformed into his highest potential as a Divine Masculine. He's still at the kind of like, kind of a little bit of an immature um, energy right now. I feel like there is a stubbornness about him in regards to this um, energy, this karmic energy, because he's stubborn. He wants to, what I'm feeling, he wants to win. Even if he feels that it is not a good place to be, it's just, I, I feel because of the time and the energy, the effort that he put into this connection with this karmic energy, he doesn't want to lose. He feels like if it doesn't work out, it's a loss for him. So that's where the immaturity comes in. He has not fully matured yet to recognize that this connection is not where he's supposed to be. The Divine Masculine is not strong. I feel like his willpower is not strong. That's where the strength is coming uh, in on this uh, reading, that he requires more strength within himself. There's still some layers within him that he needs to, uh, that needs to be revealed, that needs to be uncovered, that needs to be healed. Um, it's like deep-rooted issues that he has not dealt with yet. Um... Once he does um, face those, those parts of himself, um, even the stuff that, like the icky, the, um, the negative parts of himself that he knows that he shouldn't be doing or, or feeling, um, it will help him like progress um, on a spiritual level. We have the lotus flower over here, okay? So that will help him progress and it will help him um, become more enlightened. There will be a transformation. It's just that it's taking time. I think because of his stubbornness, um, I feel it's a stubbornness energy. It's like an immature immaturity once he does um, recognize where he needs to work on himself his life will will transform it will blossom okay um, I can see here that this transformation once it does occur uh, once he comes out of this um, low vibrational energy with the karmic energy and once he does start to peel off the layers that need to be healed within him he will start to move forward and this is going to um be like progression like he's going to become a stronger divine masculine he's going to be more spiritual he's going to focus on god um he's going to focus on self-love um, there's going to be a lot of um, wisdom here. There's going to be happiness. I can see here that Divine Masculine, 
there is a strong sense that he will return home. Home is where the heart is, right? Where divine feminine lies. And he will return home. That's what it's showing here. Whoever this reading resonates for, okay? At the moment, the Divine Masculine, I feel he has a lot of heaviness on his heart. Um, for some reason, he's feeling some sort of burden. And it could be... Oh, it could be because of that wanting to win in this situation with the Karmic. Because he doesn't want to, after all the work he put through, put himself through to try to make this... Um, connection work. He he doesn't want to lose. Like he doesn't want to let go. Um, that's starting to uh, cause a heaviness because though his mind is saying, I want to uh, win, I want to be um, still connected to this person, though it is not the right place to be, his heart, his intuition his higher guidance is telling him, you are not supposed to be in this energy. This is not meant for you. And that's where the heaviness is lying hev heavily, heavy, heavily on his heart right now. So it's, it's like a burden. So what's happening is um, the angels and uh, divine guidance is really pushing, putting pressure on the divine masculine. They're putting this heaviness on him so that... It gets to the point where he, he needs to step back. He needs to take a breather. He needs to reflect on himself. Um, right now, it's just like his connection is just... For this this particular reading, this Divine Masculine, he's just trying to make it work with this uh, karmic energy. But it's he's going against the current. That's what's happening here. I, what I feel is that once the Divine Masculine recognizes that this is not where he's meant to be, he will have a lot of self-love. He will start to think about himself. He will start to think about his, um, his future. He will start to think about his family life, meaning his parents, his siblings, whoever he was close with prior to this karmic situation. He would think about, I feel like he, first he will focus on himself, then he will focus on his family, because I feel like in some cases the Divine Masculine disconnected from his, his, uh, his family life. And then he will start to, it, he will start to, um, speak openly to family members, close friends, and that's where the connection with the Divine Feminine will start to um, reveal itself to the Divine Masculine. Like, right now, he's just, he's just kind of like, I feel he's a lost, lost immature um, person who's just chasing after something that is not there. He's chasing after an illusion. Okay, once he becomes more aware with this third eye, like I can see there's a third eye chakra, there's awakening here, there's enlightenment. Once it comes to that point in this particular reading, he is going to move towards the divine feminine. I see his love um, being showered over the divine feminine. And the Divine Feminine in this reading is coming up as the Empress. Okay? The Divine Feminine, I see she is in her, her full power, meaning that she put her foot down and she's already made a decision that I'm going to focus on me and I'm going to let it go to the Divine, to God, to handle this situation regarding the Divine Masculine. In some cases, the Divine Feminine may have let go 
of the divine masculine because of his immaturity in this uh, connection or his immaturity, um, his stubbornness, okay? Another thing I can see here is that in some cases, the Divine Feminine has turned her back on the Divine Masculine because of his, um, because of his um, actions. And in some cases, he may have said something to the Divine Feminine. It could have been sometime re like recently or sometime last year where he said something to the Divine Feminine that really um, that really made the Divine Feminine put her foot down and said, okay, this is enough. I'm not taking this anymore. Like she, it was like the final, it was like the final, um, like the final word. Like there was something that he said or did or he mentioned that made the Divine Feminine said, that's it, I'm out. I'm out of this. Right? You deal with your situation or your life, have a good life, but I'm out of here now. So what I feel is that the Divine Feminine has turned her back on the Divine Masculine regarding this uh, situation, this mess that the Divine Masculine has put himself in. She She's no longer trying to... Um, build or keep that connection with the divine masculine i feel that the divine feminine has stepped back um in a good way in a good way okay it's not that she doesn't love the divine masculine it's just that she's she's like i had enough of this i feel like i've had enough of this drama you're not understanding my point of view Right? My feelings, you're focused on some someone else or something else. So I'm just going to turn around and just keep on moving. That's what I feel. And because, because the Divine Feminine has turned her back, like turned around. At first, I feel that the Divine Masculine didn't feel anything. Like it didn't, he didn't react to it. Or he may not felt even have felt anything when she turned her back. And that's because his mind was too much focused on this karmic energy. Like, she turned around, she's like, okay, I'm going by. And he just thought, okay, fine. Like, that's what I feel. Like, he, he took it lightly. That when the, when the Divine Feminine stepped back, he took it very lightly. And in some cases, it could be because he thought either the Divine Feminine will return because Divine Feminine always comes back. That's what he feels. Or he thought, you know what? I'm focused on this person, so that's fine. It's just going to make it easier for me to be with this karmic energy. But no, it's not going to make it easier for you. Because now when the Divine Feminine has stepped back, you need to, you need to face, face this situation. And then that darkness, he needs, to, he needs to face it head on. And the divine is going to push him towards that. I feel like this divine masculine, what I'm, uh, what I feel is that there's this, It's like kind of like um, a funnel. Like he's going, he's going to slowly go down and down and down and down. Something about him experiencing this. Uh, oh, that's what it is. A down, downward spiral. Okay. That's what he's going to experience with this karmic person. Energy. And this karmic, please keep in mind this karmic energy. Um... Not only could it be a karmic partner, like a romantic partner, but it could be also karmic energy, meaning um, somebody who may have intervened, like a, a karmic block, okay? Like even 
um, a family member or something like that. But that's why I'm mentioning it as a karmic energy. Um, so there will be a down, down, downward uh, spiral, okay? And this is going to help the Divine Masculine um, become more aware. And it will push him towards, um, it will push him towards the divine love, okay? Self-love and divine love. Right now, he thinks that the direction he's going in is the right direction. Um, though it feels like nothing is working out for me, I feel like he's pushing it, forcing it to, to work. Um, but because it's not meant to be, it will just like dissolve like it, it's not going to last and then once he goes through this downward spiral and he does his inner work i feel like he takes off the layers things of deep rooted issues that he needs to um he needs to heal within himself he needs self-love self-respect strength he needs to become more mature he's right now he's in an immature energy a very stubborn energy once he learns his lesson from this karmic energy or person or partner he's going to make a decision there will be a sudden decision and then he will be like i need to i need to change my life i need to turn my life around like there will be a sudden transformation when it finally hits him okay and this transformation will lead to stability, a strong foundation. It will lead to love. He will reveal his true feelings that he was pushing down within him, that he was avoiding. He will reveal his true feelings to the Divine Feminine. Okay? So that is the reading I got for this particular uh, divine masculine if it resonated for you please give a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel uh, thank you for watching everyone and have a great day bye